Hi guys, I'm Kimmy Kellum. I'm the founder of Isuro Pilates and welcome to Trainer of the Month Club. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a full body Pilates workout performed on all fours. What I love about this series is that it is deceivingly difficult. It looks really simple, but it's really hard if it's done well. And also for my back pain people out there like myself, this is a great series for you. If you have low back pain, Give this a try and let me know how you go. We're gonna get started on all fours. So meet me down on the mat. We'll take all fours position with the hands right underneath the shoulders. So first and foremost, get your alignment in check. We wanna honor the natural S bend of your spine. So we're trying to avoid over tucking or over extending the low back. So find a place that's really in between a posterior and anterior tilt where you have a little inward curve here. The hips are right on top of the knees and you are starting in a sunken position. So this feels really good, but that's not where we're gonna stop. We're gonna continue to press away from the floor to set those shoulder blades in alignment. So working on mobilizing the scapula, inhaling to lower and exhaling to press away. So your weight is really in your hands and you are trying to essentially squeeze a pencil between your shoulder blades and then lift and let that pencil roll off. We'll take two more here. It's also just a great way of showing your body how much mobility you have and then how much stability we wanna find when we continue with this series. So now keep your shoulder blades as wide as possible. We're gonna tuck the toes under and commence knee hovers. So to begin, take a deep belly breath and let your abdominals soften. So unengage them. As you exhale, hug your abdominals. So think of drawing that belly button up towards your back, like you're putting on a back brace or a corset, tightening around that waist. And then when you have no air left, start to hover those knees and then in how to softly tap them back to the mat. So we exhale to lift. We're drawing the abdominals in and up. We're not changing the alignment of our spine. That stays totally still, inhaling to lower. So keep going with this. We wanna keep a soft bend in those elbows. If you're finding that this is a little sensitive for the wrists, I encourage you to try fisting your hands. Or alternatively, you can also do this down on your elbows with the palms facing up. We'll take three more here. Two, inhale, lower. Last one, lift and hold it here. Taking a little pulse up and down for a 10, nine, eight, seven. Again, nothing is moving except your knees. Four, three, check that you're still smiling just a little, it does help. Lower your knees to the mat. Now, if you like that challenge and you wanna stay up with the knees off the mat, hold them there, and then we start to float one leg up behind us at a time. So taking a little single leg march. Now you can also do this on your knees, which I highly recommend if you're newer to Pilates or if you are battling back pain. Also my prenatal mamas, this is a great series for you. I wouldn't recommend lifting the knees if you are currently pregnant. So we are simply floating one leg up. Nothing else changes. The knees are as low to the floor as possible. We'll do one more either side. Getting you nice and toasty. And then float those knees back down with control. Gorgeous. So we now introduce bird dog. You're gonna untuck the toes. Again, just take a moment to reset those shoulders as broad as possible. And again, we're only moving one body part. So we're gonna be working with the arms first. Make yourselves comfortable. Take a deep breath. As you exhale, hug your abdominals. <sighs> Extend one arm forward. Inhale slowly, float with control. This is where I was talking about being deceivingly difficult. This exercise, if you're doing it correctly, is really challenging. Your chest is supporting your body. Your obliques are starting to kick in to allow your body to stay still. So we're trying to avoid mobilizing the spine from side to side, keeping everything really frozen. Great, take it into the legs. So we slide one leg back at a time. This is a little bit more challenging than the arms. We're simply doing one leg at a time, nice and easy. Now the key thing I want you to focus on here is dissociating your leg 
from your hip joint. So what does that mean exactly? We don't want to extend the low back here. So that's where our abs are just on a little siesta, just having a little party. We want to keep them engaged in the series. We want to really try and separate or isolate the leg from your pelvis. So you want to really keep the pelvis totally still. It might help you have a mirror accessible to you or maybe even a friend who can check out your technique, encourage you on as you do this series. Okay, so we'll do one more to the left and then we'll start to incorporate alternating arm and leg. So as obvious as it sounds, we're gonna simply extend one arm and one leg at a time. The supporting elbow does not hyperextend. You keep it a little bit bent. That means your biceps, your triceps, your deltoids are all fired up as well. If you hyperextend those joints, you'll find that it's a lot easier, but not in a great way, in a more dangerous way, and you're asking for, for a nasty elbow injury. So we'll do one more either side here. We're exhaling to reach. We're inhaling to lower. Pelvis stays neutral, everything else stays gorgeously set in place. So now meet me up with your right arm forward, your left leg back, that elbow subtly bent, all five fingers pressing down into the mat, and then we take a diagonal reach. So this is where you start to fire up a little bit more through the obliques and your gluteus medius. Exhale to open, inhale, bring it back to center. Exhale, open, inhale, center. Exhale, open, inhale, center. You can do this down on your elbows. It is a little harder. If you are doing down on the elbows, I recommend having both elbows down and just the leg moving, okay? So finishing up with one more here. Open, if you want, you can hold it there. There's a lot you can play with, but today we're gonna continue straight onto the other side. Again, check your alignment. These guys like to get really lazy, so keep them active. Push down through those hands, extend opposite arm and leg, and we again prepare by exhaling to open, inhale to bring it back to center. Exhale, open, inhale, center. I'm starting to get a little bit shaky here as my balance on one side is not as controllable as the other. You might notice that is also something that happens with you. Just embrace it and use it as a benchmark to improve the next time you do the series. We'll do three more. Inhale, center. Every time you're breathing out, think of um, fogging up a mirror. That is a natural way of targeting your transverse abdominis. Gorgeous, and then come on down. Take a child's pose, just to reset those hips and open up through the chest. And we continue with a glute variation of what we've just done. Today I'm gonna to demonstrate this down on my forearms. You can clasp the hands together, but I wanna challenge you today. Try with the palms facing up and the forearms as wide as your chest. So parallel to one another, like train tracks. We're gonna start with donkey kicks. We bend the right knee. We try to kick the heel with our butt. And then, or vice versa, kick your butt with your heel. On your exhale, you're gonna lift that leg up as high as you can. Inhale to lower with control. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Now again, you're dissociating your leg from your hip. So try not to make this about your back. Extending, we're just extending the hip. Good, we're just gonna do one more. I'm gonna show you five of each. We then cross and lift. We cross, exhale, lift three more. Inhale, exhale, inhale. You guys feel your obliques starting to fire up. Last one, gorgeous, and then take it to the other side. So staying lifted, again, reset those shoulders. Bend the left knee, kick your heel to your butt. We exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Back of the neck stays really long. Three more. If you are not feeling in your obliques yet, I encourage you to take your weight a little more over to the left. And then we take it into that cross. So knee goes to the opposite knee, then you lift up and find parallel. So knee to opposite knee, 
and then find parallel. Keep pushing down through those forearms. You've got three more here. And two. Last one. Gorgeous. And then come on down and take a child's pose. So there you have it, my all fours full body Pilates workout. Now I recommend that you try this every day and notice how each time you do it, your endurance is better, you feel stronger, you feel more connected to your body. And as you notice the details of the technique, you'll find that it actually gets harder before it gets easier. We'll see you again for another Trainer of the Month Club series next week. If you guys are looking for more Trainer of the Month Club workouts, subscribe today. Thank you.